So moving now to inflation, uh, we know that January inflation hit a two-year high of 4.2%. And um, of course, this is uh, way uh, above the forecast of BSP and other economists. And um, the question is, will this be uh, sustained, the uptrend in inflation? Will it hit uh, 4% um, consistently? And the question is, how will central bank um, act? And they mentioned that they will keep interest rates uh, steady or at a record low. Because um, what central bank usually does here, if you look at the two charts, when inflation is going up, they will, um, they will do their uh, monetary policy moves. So uh, they will try to stabilize prices and particularly inflation. So when uh, rates or when inflation goes up, uh, central bank, uh, what central bank does is they also hike rates so that people would stop from spending and instead uh, park their money in banks so that, so that it would earn. And when interest rates uh, go down or uh, inflation go down, central bank will also um, cut interest rates. So that's what they did in during uh, the span of 2019 to 2020. So they cut um, interest rates to a record low of 2%. Uh, last year, so they did 200 bips rate cut because um, most people are in reservation mode. So people aren't really spending on non-essential items. They just want uh, to put food on their table because um, companies are downsizing. Uh, people are losing jobs. So what uh, people would really want to spend on is food. So basically, uh, wala namang travel. Last year, um, events were put on hold. But um, so steady inflation last year at 2.6% on average. So this year, um, inflation is rising up to 4.2%. And um, central bank is, um, so the floor now is on the government on how they would address this it's, uh, inflation. Because this is basically cost push inflation, meaning um, inflation was partly driven by higher food prices, particularly pork, because for pork, um, ASF, ASF has uh, already spread to the Vismin region. And um, what the government uh, like to do is that they would ask the Depar Department of Agriculture to import around 400,000 metric tons of pork to address the um, low supply of pork. So maybe, maybe if these shipments come in at a quicker time, uh, we can see inflation tempering in for the next few months. But uh, basically, it would. Uh, remain high because of the low base effects from last year.